guys, welcome back to my channel. We have Lariah and Jonah here joining me as well. Hi. Say welcome back to Mama's channel. So today we are going to be talking about three things. We are talking about hair loss, <laughs> breakage, <laughs> and also shedding of hair. So I've been experience, experiencing all of that today. <laughs> I can't talk. I'm going to start off with my shampoo that I've been using a lot lately that's been helping me prevent breakage and breakage. preventing <laughs> shedding. <laughs> so shedding and I know shedding and it will Okay. So these are the two shampoos that I <laughs> these are the two products that I've been using a lot lately but I've still been rotating with two other shampoos but since we're focusing on hair loss, shedding and breakage I'm going to show you these two it's um, by Nioxin and everyone's different sometimes it or doesn't it depends also what level you use because they have different levels so this one's level 3 and it's great for chemically treated hair I've been using that for shampoo and conditioner the shampoo is awesome because it re removes any excess dirt residue from the environment and it also um, removes any like dandruff or if you have any find that your hair is really oily it removes that from the scalp as well I highly recommend these two if you want to try it out some people find that they didn't find any difference but for me personally because I have fine thinning hair this stuff worked great so that is my shampoo and conditioner right now this isn't related to breakage shedding or any of that kind of stuff but I thought it'd be nice to share it with you since I am using it right now it is a silver shampoo but it comes out in like a deep purple almost bluish if you have any like excess brassy tones or like if you have any unwanted oranginess yeah oranginess or if you want your blondes to be a little bit more blonde and you want like the silverish more um, cool tones to really come out the silver shampoo by milkshake is great so I use that at least once or twice a week just to keep my hair ashy I showed this in one of my videos before for my hair care review and this one is the macadamia natural hair deep repair mask try saying that three times this is a great mask for those people who are lacking hydration who find it hard to maintain nice silky soft shiny hair so this puts that softness back into their hydration and I do this one once a week but depending on how my hair feels and depending on the weather sometimes I find that I have to do more but this is very nourishing and the smell is great smell it Lariah what's the smell so it's really fruity and it's very um, rich so a little goes a long way how do you like it Jonah smell my hair is shedding and I find I have more breakage than usual and um, I have been trimming my hair but I find that my hair is still breaking and that's because I dye my hair all the time and that's my weakness but I use this AG Keratin Repair Repair Serum Keratin Anti-Breakage Sealant the ends are really splitting and if they're breaking even after your trim this helps seal it it doesn't do too much so if you're expecting your hair to be super super healthy right after this just helps kind of um, mend the ends a little bit but it doesn't completely make the hair healthy because a lot of people expect when they're using serums or creams they think that the hair is going to be 100 percent healthy but you still need to get those trims and you still need to maintain it and <laughs> you still have to make sure that you're maintaining it with good products and make sure they're good quality products Products, try to heat style your hair less and since my hair has been feeling really really flat lately this is my go-to mousse and I put this in when the hair is wet it's called being sexy mousse by rusk and it adds a little bit of root lift and lots of volume depending on how you style your hair so if you're using a blow dryer and you're using a good um, brush to really do a nice uh, blowout this creates a lot of volume it helps really just keep the volume in the hair I just like this product because it's not like too heavy because a lot of mousses I've tried they leave a little bit of residue in the hair so this really just does what it needs to do without adding any like excess like film on the hair I talked about styling the hair when it's wet before blow drying this is great for styling the hair after the hair is dry so just to add a little bit more root lift and if you don't like washing your hair all the time this is a great um, product for just keeping the hair um, 
um, volume on it, adding some texture. So this is called Super Done Technique Art by L'Oreal Professional. What I usually do is I shake it up first. Shake, 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 shake. Whenever you squeeze a tube or the bottle, this powder comes up. People, when they open up a package that includes a blow dryer, it's uh, or sorry, not a blow dryer, it includes this little nozzle. And a lot of people think toss it because they think that oh, they think that you don't need it, so sometimes they get rid of this little thing and they don't use it. But you know what? This is a really important part of the blow dryer. This makes the air more um, spread out and it doesn't really um, help smooth out the hair, whereas this one, the air collects and it's more concentrated onto the hair and it really smooths out the hair and it really just gets rid of all the frizz and it seals and closes the cuticles. So that's why I like using the nozzle. Brush on this hair, brush on this hair, brush on this hair. Oh yeah, this is gonna hurt, don't do it, don't brush on this hair. What are you doing? Jumping. Styling tools. This is a great styling tool. It's great for dividing with the tail comb, but it also helps smooth up the hair. I usually like going for bristles that are a little bit closer together. That way you get a nice, smooth, and even finish. And if you want to see a tutorial on how to use a roller brush and how to do a proper roller, um, sorry, a blowout, let me know and just comment in the this, uh, not the description box, the comment box below and then I will show you guys how to use this and doing it and it's different when you're doing it on a person versus doing it yourself so I would love to show you guys how to use that one day because it's a lot of stuff but I use them you know just to help maintain my hair especially right now um, he's seven months right now so I noticed that I've been getting like hair loss here and it's completely normal I'm not even gonna bother going to a doctor because I know it's normal, I expected it to happen. Like I thought it would actually happen a long time ago, but I just started seeing like, I started noticing like hair loss right here. But if you are <laughs> noticing experiencing hair loss, number one, don't stress out. And stress can lead to more hair loss. And also, number two, you wanna avoid, oops, tying the hair. So try to let your hair breathe and try to uh, do heat styling a lot less. Three, get those monthly trims. So every two to three months, try to get a trim to cut away those dead ends. Oh, number four, use the proper products and tools to help maintain your hair. And I guarantee you're going to have nice, healthy, shiny, stronger hair. Thank you again for watching my video today. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Can you say bye, Laura? Bye! Thank you for watching.